retreat out of there in order to um, continue fighting over here. The flame, the forest fire does go down, pushing off this wood source. However, Hells already did have a wood source here. Would be possibly better for or interesting. If you engage with all of the villagers well as the Theseus, you're going to be able to abuse some pathfinding and trying to pick off a little bit easier um, the Valkyrie. And also there's 72 HP there, which could have been um, a little bit picked off a little bit better. And now the Valkyrie is going to be continuing to harass, wants to pick off as many villagers as possible. The sea engagements just ceased for a little bit while this is going on. And a town center going down for Army Corps. Going to be able to push out a lot more villages and basically he's forgot to auto cure again on this town center. A lot of idle villager or idle town center time for Army Corps, which is why he's not as far ahead as he should be because he's done a lot of damage. Um, also, economy wise, he could also grab pickaxe um, and all of those other good upgrades. And now I'm just going to treat this Valkyrie, reheal it, extremely smart, and then he's probably just going to start raiding again. I'm now grabbing a third town center. That's quite, I can't say ballsy, because he still has that extra 3,000 gold mine here, so he's completely safe, and he's going to be able to abuse that extra economy that he's going to be getting in order to produce a bunch of raiding cavalry. He might even want to just go straight to the Heroic Age as well, through Scardi, in order to um, throw down a hill fort here and take this gold mine. However, the Hippicon of Hells are out at the moment, as well as more water engagements going on over here. Uh, Hells does have the advantage here. However, the Concave not quite favoring Hells at the moment, um, and also the shooting dock from both sides. So it's going to be interesting to see if Hells manages to win this fight. He does have more Trireme. There isn't any Micro either, really any good Micro. Um, and he does look like he does come out on top, he's going to be able to fish from the rest of this side of the of that map. He has thrown down the army, army call has thrown down the armory, probably going through Scardi, and there we go, he is ma managing to advance through Scardi, um, or Scaddy, I'm not exactly sure. Um, going to throw down a hill fort, hopefully he's going to throw down a hill fort here, he also needs to think about um, a bunch more longhouses, maybe even want to throw down five, he does have the economy to produce off five. And it's always better to um, build each longhouse individually with like one hearse each, like you split them up because it, they'll build faster basically. Hells, on the other hand, is sitting on this gold mine. He doesn't exactly know what the timing is, I don't think, of this, this gold mine extinguishing and that gold mine extinguishing. It's going to be relatively soon because there's so many. Um, Village is getting produced off those three town centers of Army Corps. Army Corps does hit the Royal Cage through Scardi. He's going to be able to push in here um, eventually if he finds out, if he gets the units out in time. Might be an idea to garrison into the longhouse instead of out, which he is, looks like he is doing. There we go. It's going to let him um, produce the units and then pop them out into a position where he can sort of, uh, what's the word, trap. Um, surround, whatever, whatever the word is, and it's put a win there. Um, and there we go, he is managing to do that at the moment. Um, the, the Frost Giant coming in, that's going to be quite a meat shield here. The Hippicon is, however, trying to take that out, but it's really with that all that 69 pierce damage is really being able to stay alive for quite some time doing a lot of damage and it looks like army call gonna be able to hold on here in order to basically it looks like he's gonna be able to win the game here sitting on three town centers for that much longer gonna have that much more economy gonna be able to now throw down a hill fort gonna be able to take this gold mine um, and then possibly play for the early mythic age possibly go through tier or even our early ragnarok he is he was producing from all the town centers, he couldn't be maxed. He stopped, so that makes me think that he's not go gearing up to go through Ragnarok. Or maybe he is. Or he's just stopped in order to get the food in order to advance so he could go through Ragnarok and win. We'll see, he might. He's, he should trade away all that wood, purchase some food, and then advance to the, um, to the, to the Mythic Age and then just continually pumping out villages, he might be able to finish this game off with an with an early Ragnarok, especially because there's there's not much that um, 
the Hells can do to stop that. He's got two gold mines which be exposed, and then he could just sit on this gold mine with um, 300 population army in order to win the game. We'll see if uh, Army Corps does manage to decide to do that. He's not buying any armory upgrades either. He doesn't have Pierce, he doesn't have anything, so it might not be his, his strategic choice there. Again, he really needs to throw down more barracks than that. Four is not enough, especially when your army is so flimsy as a Norse player and you lose it so much, and then the, uh, the train time on the units is just massive. It's not going to be able to do much. Hells goes through Dionysus. This is to bolster his Hippicon with those upgrades. Um, I personally prefer Aphrodite, especially versus a Frost. You're not going to be able to get a bronze off in order to do any damage. What uh, Army Corps could do now is Frost the army, um, kill off all of these villages because he's got 145 pop army probably, yeah. And so the Frost is going to prevent the units from really stopping this raid from happening. However. Army Corps just retreating, I mean Hell's just retreating his villages back calmly. And this gold mine's going to be extinguished re relatively soon. It's only got 4,000 gold, but it is getting mined by 24 villages. Um, and he is going through Balder. He's going to be hitting Balder relatively soon. Um, Army Corps, I mean Hell's knows this and he's trying to push in here and doing as much damage as possible. The bronze does go down, but it doesn't have that much units there, that many units there. And ceasefire goes down. So that's going to give um, Hell's uh, Army Corps even more time to get to the, to the Mythic Age. Fortified Town Center is going down as well. Um, I'd really love to see some Armory upgrades getting researched at the moment. He only has Pierce. He could get the second Pierce one, or even the Copper Weapons or whatever else, especially if he's going for this early Ragnarok. As soon as Hell sees Balder, he's just going to be like, oh, i got no idea what I can do. I'm not in a position which I can deal with, like, 300 population army that that army corps has. If we check how many village he has, 25 plus 13 plus 24, that's like easily 60, 70, 80 villages there. And then Els is just going to retreat out of here as best as he can and see what he can muster up against uh, Balder like force. Again, he's now starting to throw up armory upgrades. He's built that second armory in order to get more armory upgrades, but he's not using it. Interesting choice there. And then the fire giant's coming into the fray in order to really, really do a lot of damage. He does a bunch of damage, 15 hack damage there as a myth unit. It's quite nice as well, and he has 600 HP as well, so he's incredibly bulky. And now. It's going to be interesting to see what he decides to um, when he decides to use Ragnarok. Is he just going to be holding out? He's only producing villages from one town center again. So like, again, it just makes me feel like this isn't going to be as powerful as it could be. But regardless of that, it's still going to be incredibly strong. So I don't really, I don't really know what's going to be happening here. And he doesn't really have the resources either. He's got. 2,600 2, wood just banked, and he's not being able to spend that at all. And he's still upgrading a lot. Maybe he's waiting until he's got the iron weapons, however, that's letting Hells get um, what he needs as well to defend against this. But again, it looks like he's not even trying to defend against it. He's just like mutually going, okay, I'm just going to let you use um, Balder to win this game. And then it looks like, and there's the GG. Uh, it looks like Hulls' army sitting at 109 population he could not deal with this push that was happening and the econ economy of Army Corps here. I guess this game came down to the fact that Army Corps took both sides of the water earlier and then was able to boom off these three town centers much earlier than Hells. Possibly what Hells could have done was. Um, built a dock on both sides of the water and then grabbed two town centers straight away. Um, that's going to force, and then also you have ceasefire as well, so you would have been able to boom off that um, and then use ceasefire in order to get your army up, which may have been a better choice. Uh, we've got one more game here, it looks like it's 3 0 in this, in this series here. We're just going to see what map it's on and what the matchup is. It's on Tundra. 
the hunt map. Aranos vs Odin on Tundra. Army Core spawning in the 11th o'clock position as the blue Aranos player with Hell spawning in the 5 o'clock position as the red Odin player. Um, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Just because the Odin player has such a hard time dealing with myth units, because it's it's not really in his um, in his best interest to build Hersa. You want to build raiding cavalry, and then is as an answer to that, um, um, a Rhinos player can just build Terma, Mamillo, Prometheans, and just win the game outright. However, that being said. Helter does have a really nice gold mine sitting right here, so he's not going to die. He shouldn't die to any early aggression. However, all of the hunt is basically, except for that hunt there, is basically at the front of his base. So that's going to be able to be pushed off incredibly easy, and that's just the nature of this map. So we'll see what uh, Helter decides to do strategically wise. He really needs to think about advancing fast. Um, he doesn't want to do some sort of economic building. He wants to be up at least 4:30 by the latest. Um, in order to combat any early aggression which happens from Army Corps. Excuse and we'll see exactly what happens. Army Corps, on the other hand, he knows what he's doing. He's the Aranus expert. Um, Going to be getting the standard uh, Mermillo, uh, Terma, and Prometheans. Possibly might even decide to grab that early town center or something else like that. And then just completely push through and win the game just with pure force. Uh, obviously, Micro as well plays a role. Um, the shockwave as well plays the, the 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 final role in deciding that what's going to happen in this game. Basically, if he misfires the um, the shockwave, then Hells has a chance of winning the fight. If not, then whatever. And Army Corps manages to, Hells manages to snipe a Oracle there. Army Corps not paying attention. I don't know why. What else he would have been doing at this stage of the game? We just let these Oracle die. Interesting choice by Army Corps. Just to maybe just giving Hells a little bit of a, an opportunity there. Um, Hell's throwing down his temple, but putting it at the front of his base. This is not the town center is not in rage of here, um, and basically, especially against Aranos, whenever you put a building outside of the range of your towers and um, or your town center, basically, you're asking for it to be killed. Someone said this to me once, I don't remember who, but if you put it outside of your town center range, you're asking for that building to get killed, and it probably will. His tower, yes, it's there, but he has to spend the extra 200 wood and 100 gold and also wall it in, so that's going to be more like 200 wood and uh, 109 gold, lol, 109 gold, um, in order to protect that tower and, and protect this temple. So it's just an investment that you're really, it's not a great thing. Um, Army Corps now probably advancing through, he's not advancing yet, interesting. He is going through Prometheus though, he's getting, probably hit about 5.05. Hell on the other hand, going through Fire, going to be hitting probably around about 4.45, a little bit late. Um, and the Hursa going to be running around, not exactly sure what it's doing, it looks like he's just searching around for an extra hunt source or something like that. Interestingly enough, Army Corps is still gathering a lot of food. It looks like he might be doing some sort of fast heroic strategy and then spamming um, Stymphalian birds in order to beat the Serranos player. be interesting to see if he can pull that off. Um, he does have a bunch of food and he's going to be able to throw down that armory um, as well. It'll be an interesting strategy here just to see what's actually doing. And the, the, the Valkyrie is coming in here. It's going to be doing a little bit of harass, however the Promethean is going to be able to really deal with this harass efficiently. And he's just doing a little bit of tower, garrison, micro there in order to, you know, whatever, in order to keep his villages alive. <laughs> um, Stymphalian, what the, the Stymphalian birds of Thayer, is it Thayer? I don't know. They're going to be extremely difficult for, for Hells to deal with. Especially because he's building nothing but melee units. So, basically, Army Corps can get away with this because he's not going to be able to pick off those birds. Even if he had the throwing axemen, it's still going to be difficult as well to, to really deal with it. So, 
Basically, Hellas' best bet now is to to wood starve. All he needs to do is get over here, 